Welcome back to Figure Depot. Today we're taking a look at Marvel's X-Men Beast from Diamond Select's Gallery Diorama. Little display kind of series. And uh, lots of cool stuff in there. We'll check him out and uh, get him open. There's not a whole lot to see on the outside. Uh, we do have a nice little window box here with windows on all four. Well, three sides in the top and then of course the back and bottom are not uh, visible or anything. We can see a product shot here on the back. You've got Beast and uh, I guess he's getting assaulted with batons or something. It's kind of hard to tell exactly what's happening there, but I think that's what they're going for. Uh, looks like a real nice sculpt with some great paint applications. We'll get this thing open and check it out. If you'd like to read the bio, it's probably going to be hard, as small as the lettering is, and with my little setup here, so I'll go ahead and read it to you. Henry Hank McCoy was born a mutant and showed the signs of being different from birth with his unusually large hands and feet. As a youth, Hank's freakish appearance was the subject of much ridicule from his classmates, earning him the nickname of Beast. In his senior year, Hank's superhuman agility and athletic prowess earned him recognition as a star football player, and Hank was invited by Professor Charles Xavier to join the team of teenage mutant heroes, the X-Men, and enroll in the Xavier School for Gifted Youngsters. During one of his experiments, Hank discovered the hormonal extract that causes genetic mutation and underwent radical physical changes that enhance his agility and strength, as well as causing him to grow fangs, pointed ears, and fur all over his body. He has been a member of the Avengers, the Defenders, but he has always returned to the X-Men. All right, so here is Beast on my little turntable, and uh, looks very, very cool. And it, uh, lights very well. There's lots of great sculpt on there and great paint applications which make for a nice display under dramatic lighting and um, he's probably training in the danger room or something presently I would imagine. Uh, so you get a little X-Men logo here and then uh, you get a red ring around a silver base and then a black uh, platform that little lint on there, uh, where his hand is perched, and we can see his fingernails are painted, he's got his classic black trunks with the yellow belt, nice blue fur, sculpted really well, with little tufts, extra tufts here and there, and then of course we've got our little batons, or whatever those things are that are being tilted at him while he's in his training exercise. So very cool design and uh, definitely a wonderful piece to have. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this and kind of get a closer look at some of the finer details. We can see uh, his feet there have a really nice sculpt. They've got some black wash over the blue fur to give them some nice depth and everything. Looks very, very cool. Uh, definitely loving the sculpt on this thing. Uh, great attention to detail uh, was taken of course here by Diamond Select. So we move down the figure uh, we can see the uh, more of that sculpt there for his blue fur on his back. Lots of really nice musculature there and the sculpt looking really good and uh, Great sculpt work on the face as well. That kind of <laughs> almost sinister grin he's got. Uh, very confident in his ability, definitely. And uh, he might be in a little bit of pain from those things pelting him as well. Very cool, true to the, of course, the uh, classic comic and uh, design from the animated series as well. Uh, the um, 1990s animated series that was on Fox afternoons. Uh, definitely have watched that about 18 million times. It was certainly one of my favorites as a kid. 
So here's a little better look at the base. Uh, we can see it's got uh, metallic paint, which looks really nice. And uh, the little batons look like they're a slightly darker, a little bit more of a gunmetal uh, that are being pelted at him. And then the base is a nice bright silver. So pretty cool to have the contrast there. I did notice on this particular piece, it looks like the uh, one little corner of the X logo has been roughed up a bit. I mean, uh, this piece actually belongs to my friend Bilal and he gave it to me to review. I may see if he'd like me to touch that up for him and uh, fill that back in. Shouldn't be a problem. So anyway, uh, so that's pretty much the only paint defect I see on this. We've got a little plastic piece sticking out there in the corner, just a shaving, um, or it looks like they didn't sand that quite smooth enough. We can probably clean that up as well. But overall, a great piece. The uh, character himself is uh, painted very nicely and all of those details on him are looking fantastic. The face paintwork is nice and clean, so nothing to worry about there. Just uh, a few things on the base that might could use a little touching up, but overall looks fantastic and uh, just a really great figure or sculpture, I should say. No articulation or moving parts to speak of in uh, this style of sculpture. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Uh, if you're an X-Men fan, this is definitely one you're gonna wanna pick up. It's uh, very nice, very well done, and uh, certainly an excellent piece. So, tune in next time for some more action figure reviews and uh, custom work. I hope you enjoyed my custom Zorro. If you haven't seen that, check it out. It was a lot of fun to make. And I'm thinking about modifying the head just a little bit more. Um, I don't like his bushy little hair sticking out from under his hat, so I think I'm going to clean that up and make him a little bandana um, coming off the back of his head. I think that'll look a little more truer to the character design and make me a little happier. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll check out my Instagram, Figure Depot. I'll be doing um, some updated shots once I get that finished. And I'm also making myself a Zorro costume just for fun, so I'll probably post those pictures on there as well. Alright, well thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.